All right, welcome back, Kami. I've got something once again to add to the Ozark Sly watch I'm list. I'm so glad. I like your yes. recommendations. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. I just mm -hmm. watched it. So it comes from Apple TV Plus. It's an hour and a half long documentary that provides an in-depth look at singer and actress Selena Gomez's life over the last mm -hmm. few years. So before we go any further, yeah. check out this trailer for Selena Gomez, My, My Mind and Me. Just be who you are, Selena. No one cares about what you're doing. It's about who I am. Being okay with where I am. I am grateful to be alive. Selena Gomez was diagnosed with lupus, depression, and anxiety. She had a mental breakdown. Let me make a promise. I am going to stop living like this. How do I learn how to breathe my own breath again? Anybody saw what I saw, they wouldn't have recognized her. Like my whole life since I was a kid, I've been working. I don't want to be like super famous, but I do know that if I'm here, I have to use that for good. What's holding you back from doing it? That I'm not good enough. That's something that I felt a lot of growing up. In this life, you have to show people empathy, have a chance to give people more than what you receive. What makes me happy is connection, and it helps me get out of my head. Do you know who this is? Yes, she's real. Mommy went to school with her. Clearly, I'm still here to use whatever I have to help someone else. Everything that I had gone through, it's gonna be there. I'm just making it my friend now. I am happier and I'm in control of my emotions and thoughts more than I have ever been. I think that you are saving lives. I know that you're saving lives. Uh, uh, I'm just so proud of part of the conversation, you know? You know, this is the beginning for me. Man, what a trailer. It's seriously, it's worth the watch. Okay, so. Yeah, it's already sucked me right yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, some thoughts I have. Okay, so first of all, I forget, you know, I kind of grew up with like Selena Gomez on my TV screen, right? So, like, I forget how much she's been through and how long spanning her career has been because Since she, she started little. as a child star on Barney uh, and then um, had some other, like, kind of, I don't know, movie and TV roles. And then I would say her big break was probably her role on Wizards of Waverly Place, which was a Disney Channel series. That's the first thing I yes. remember her yeah. in. Yeah, and so that was huge. Um, had a lot of success with uh -huh. that and then kind of you know dived into her music career was really good with that but then at the same time she had a very highly publicized relationship with Justin Bieber mm. which they often got like scrutiny for and just a lot of yeah. publicity he around wasn't it, exactly which is stable tough. during that time no I mean they, they were young and they you know they uh -huh. didn't know much so yeah um, it's just it's interesting because you see people like Selena who went through so much as a child mm -hmm. um, personally but then also professionally right mm -hmm. and then on top of that you know, she gets to the certain age where it's like um, the the film kind of opens with her um, in 2016 on tour, and she's like kind of at the height of um, her music career at the time, right? Like it's really growing. Um, she does 55 stops on this tour and then just like loses it and has like complete mental and emotional breakdown and like physically and all the kinds of things cannot handle anymore, right? Wow. And um, so then throughout the film, um, you kind of learn more about some of her um, issues that she's been dealing with. Mm -hmm. So um, she discloses that she is bipolar. Mm -hmm. um, she's also been dealing with lupus for the last few years and it's kind of like had its different flare ups. Um, she just goes through so much. Yeah. But one of the, like, I think biggest takeaways from the film is that um, she, she talks about, she's like, I don't really care about being famous. Matter of fact, I wish I wasn't. She was like, but because I have a platform, I need to do something with it other than just like acting and singing. Yeah. So her big thing is um, she talks about that she wants to um, get it in schools where kids from kindergarten on through high school learn how to deal with their emotions. And one thing that really stuck out to me in the film is she talks about, you know, in like kindergarten, 
they like give you like a little smiley face and like how are you feeling today or whatever yeah. and you pick that the happy face or the sad face but she's like but after that they don't ask you anymore you know <laughs> yeah, and so she's true. like so you kind of grow up not really knowing that's how to true. deal with your emotions and then you get to your you know high teens early 20s whatever and you like maybe don't know how to deal with them all the way so that's like a big thing that she's working on personally but it's just this documentary details her personal journey so much, you know, and um, you also see like after she had taken a hiatus after the tour, um, she comes back to the AMAs in like maybe 2019 or something mm -hmm. like that with her song um, Lose You to Love Me or whatever it's called. And she um, <laughs> is really off pitch really throughout the entire performance, but she talks about how like she gets so much scrutiny for that. And it was like, well, she was also had really bad anxiety and she was dealing with oh. a lot of her health issues. So. So really interesting film. I'd yeah. really encourage people to watch it because I think it gives you a very different perspective on this kind of celebrity. And she's still so young. She's only 30. Yeah. You know, she's well, been through a lot. I can't imagine growing up in front of the camera no. like that with so many millions of people knowing who you are and watching you. But then lupus alone, yeah. I mean, that's a serious disease. Yeah. So just mixing those two things, I can't imagine. Yeah. But you know what? Like the big takeaway for me is like, like it's a, she has a beautiful life. Yeah. And not, I'm not talking about the success. Sure. I'm talking about when you go through so much that you have a personal mm -hmm. um, drive to yeah. help other people, yeah. I think that's what it's all yeah. about. Yeah, well, her perspective is unmatched in that way, right. for sure. Yeah, right. so um, so some key things here. So My Mind and Me, which is the title of the documentary, is actually a brand new song that she has out now. Mm -hmm. And then she's also expected to release a new album in the coming months, which is really exciting. So go check it out, only an hour and a half long, Apple TV yeah. Plus, super easy watch, and you learn a lot about her through it. So and it's learn a good to find. give people a break. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's streaming now, so go check yeah. it out. All right. Good.